and welcome back to my youtube channel so i am so so sorry i'd like to sincerely apologize for not being as consistent yo i feel like this is what i'm gonna say in the beginning of every video because i like that so much but also i'm just here to give you guys a life update because there's a lot that has been going on i think i've been posting in like two months or so or three months because i think the last time i posted was in february now we're in june oh my gosh so yeah there's a lot that has been going on i've been working on myself i didn't delete other social media platforms because that also involves my work that's what i do for a living so you know, today this week is not giving me what i wanted to give but anyways let's continue i haven't been wearing wigs in a while also i've had braids for the longest time so yeah i'm definitely back trying to fetch my life i've been busy with a couple of stuff i switched jobs I'm working in a completely different field now. I'm not in film anymore. And it's like hectic because I'm still trying to adjust, still trying to understand what's going on because I am not used to like serious stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a serious person. I'm not used to like doing things according to the book because with media, you get to be creative and all that. So I am a creative and what I'm doing now is like straight. So you need to do what they tell you to do and that's it there's no other way of doing it there's a there's one formula and that's it so i'm not used to doing that so but then i'm very very grateful i know there's a lot of people that want jobs in south africa um also for me the little period in between finishing my film project and being where i am now was not the easiest guys unemployment is not easy sometimes it's not even about just the money it's just about you being used to waking up and doing stuff at a, in a certain way at a certain time and the next thing you just have to wake up and do nothing it's depressing trust me i've been there and i wouldn't want to wish it on anybody else so everybody else that's trying to get a job out there i'm really wishing you guys all the best pray about it and yeah so yeah i moved to a new place now and not a new place a new job i'm still staying in the same place yeah, it's just that now it's even more traveling when I go to work because I'm back. I'm at literally office hunt every day. That's why I'm not even going to get time to like shoot because when I come back home, it's like after six in the evening. I leave the house at like after six in the morning. So I'm, I am I don't really have time to shoot, but I'm going to try and make sure that at least every weekend I shoot something. So yeah, and a lot has, has been happening. A lot has changed. I've gained weight. I don't know if it's because I've been eating a lot or stress. I don't know. But I gained a lot of weight within that period. Like, even when my dad, every time I send my dad pictures, it's always like, is that a little bit of weight I'm seeing there? So if he's watching this, it is weight. But it's going to go. Don't worry. I'm going to work on it. Plus now, because I wake up every day, I walk for a little... Okay, let me not even consider that walking. Because it's not that... It's not that much of a distance. It's just that I don't like walking. So, but I'm going to work on it. I'm eating right now. Guys, I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm mostly doing my veggies and meat. I'm trying to stay away from sugar. But there are people that still buy me so much chocolates. But because they're doing it out of love, they shouldn't stop. I'll figure out how to schedule my way of eating chocolates but you guys should still buy me chocolates i really really appreciate it but anyways so i told you guys about my weight gain i told you guys about my job also i'm still single so yeah I'm still single i've been dating though not dating you know when it gets to talk stage and then it's like okay yeah next that's what i've been doing i've been out on like two dates or so of which both of them didn't work out i'm only, i'm gonna have a story time on the other day <laughs> yo <laughs> ciao i'm gonna make a story time on the other date guys yo, yes men will leave their houses just to come and annoy you in your own space like they'll literally take their phone just to dm you and ruin your life that's what they do best so i'm gonna have a story time about my <laughs> yo i really can't wait to do it but anyways this is a life update instead of story time so i'm not gonna tell you guys about it and what else do i want to talk about 
a lot has been going on guys health wise i've been okay just a little bit of flu there and there oh also my skin was breaking out so bad and because i was not working i couldn't really afford the things that i usually use i could afford them but i just felt like i'd rather sacrifice looking like this but actually doing other stuff with my money because guys the things i use for my skin are so expensive i i think i've spoken about okay no it was not a youtube video i did another vlog thing that i was auditioning for and i was talking about my skin yes so i used this other little adventin thing that i was prescribed that my previous doctor prescribed for me and it's so expensive guys it's like 600 rands and it's so little so sometimes i'm just like you know what skin if this is what you want yeah, as I was saying, I was still talking about my skin. The things that happen with this ring light, guys. There's a lot that goes on. But anyways, I think I'm... Is it falling again? Okay, cool. If you get time, please buy me a ring light. Sharp. So, yeah. My skin as well has been showing me flames. And I've just been going through a huge fix, right? Because you know, this is what happens. It starts off as financial okay even it doesn't even start from financial it starts at, at first you've got money you saved up you can survive right it starts off like that and then it's just stress you don't have to go anywhere in the morning and all that or you don't have to do anything you don't get busy and then next thing next thing it's financial now because you don't have the money anymore and then next thing next thing you can't afford the things that you used to afford and that's like more stress it really gets like so frustrating it's like i believe in breakfast dates i believe in all those things and i'm looking at it and i'm like i can't even do this for myself makes me feel like a failure but yeah things change um god is always working on us even when we don't see it he is literally whispering stuff to people's ears people are going to mention your name in any spaces full of opportunities so just don't give up i know it sounds useless when i'm saying it because it sounds like i'm saying it now because i'm fine but don't give up okay so also i've been working on my foundation oh guys i just realized how much i love doing this because i visited one of the orphanages it's a girl center it's right here in midland by glen austin so i went there and i saw the kids i it's okay it's a center that has girls or kids that some of them are coming from families that just can't afford to raise them others are coming from abusive homes others are coming from this and that it's like all different types of stuff but it's a whole house where they all stay together i think it's a group of like 17 girls or so so i have taken um i've taken initiative to help them out even though it's not just financial with like applying for school and all that some of them are doing matrix some of them are doing this this is where you guys step in now because i had asked for metric dance dresses and all that so that we can actually help them out if you've got shoes just send them through and all those things and also just normal clothes or food or money whatever you can donate i always post it on my instagram it's at the black animal you can always follow me so that you can see all the updates also when we go there and i just got my first package from my friend her name is funny she actually sent this package from from durban you see it's like so huge i haven't even opened it i don't know what's inside okay i can tell there's a shoe here and all that so yeah this is how you can send it if you're not around midland or Joburg or whatever but if you can drop it off you can just drop it off on my place or ask for the address so that i tell you guys where to take it but funny thank you so much for actually being the first person to donate i haven't had time to work on it but whenever i post and you guys repost that's also part of donation it helps a lot for other people to see if you don't have anything to give you can just share it i mean just share it those that feel like they want to take part will take part i'm hoping on getting funding and all that but for now i just want you guys to help me out with whatever you have so that we can help the the girls that need help you know when a girl has clothes and she looks good it helps her with the confidence and self-esteem of which that's where everything begins the, like it's very hard to deal with a young girl that has no self-esteem or no self-confidence most of them are going to varsity next year they need to know where to start at least 
if you tell them boys are going to lie to you, if you tell them this is what's going to happen, if you tell them you need to stand up for yourself and what, 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 it's way better. Because if they go there and they're like, they don't believe in themselves, they're probably just going to get people, or not even just boys per se, they are girls, they are, they are friends that are just so manipulative. They're going to get there, they're going to tell you stuff, you're going to believe it because you come from a, a very low, what am I saying? But you guys get what I'm saying, right? Yes, that's what I'm saying. We're trying to build women. We're trying to empower each other. That's that's the whole um, movement behind Ama Foundation. So, yeah. So, you guys can call me. You can text me. And let's see how we can help. And if you feel like you want to bring any other form of help, even if it's not clothes, food, or whatever, just talk to me. We can work this out. So, apart from the foundation, I think... Yeah, that's just about it. I've been trying to make, um, I've just trying to, I've been trying to be a better person myself. I've been trying to get closer to family because I am a, I am a very, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm distant, but I don't interact so much with family members. I just have a couple of people that I talk to. So right now I'm trying so hard, even the young ones, I call them and all that. I'm just trying to be there for everybody. I know I can't be there for my entire family i can't be there for Zalafik as a whole but i'm trying to be a better person i'm trying to leave a mark so that's what i've been trying to do i've been trying to make myself better trying to make my communication better as well i've been trying to watch what i say because i've got verbal diarrhea so i'm trying to watch what i say i'm trying to i'm trying to say sorry more i'm trying to keep quiet and sometimes because i talk a lot and sometimes i t say things that i'm not supposed to say you know sometimes in life you need to understand that we are not perfect no one is perfect but if you realize or someone tells you this is what's wrong with you or we don't like how you do this sit down and look at it and realize and see how you can fix it you can always be right so that's what i'm trying to do i know i'm not a perfect human being but i'm trying to better myself because i've just realized that there's so much to do in your 20s i'm turning 24 this year i'm just going to be a better person i want to look back five years later and say i actually did a lot you know doing a lot is not always career orientated it's not always being mad it's not always trying to get a partner and get married you can better yourself you can be a better person to your family members you can be there for your friends that's actually a very good way to go as well so guys thank you guys so much um please share my video like subscribe comment let's interact this is me coming back i'm not going anywhere anymore i am here for you guys so thank you guys so much for watching and for staying with me and not for and for not pulling out when i am not when i was not available it really means a lot to me it shows me how much you guys love me and thank you guys for understanding if this story is enough for you guys to say hmm we understand why she hasn't been around please give my video a thumbs up at least this is the list you can do so thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm gonna come back with another video definitely a story time that i promise you guys so thank you. Love you.